Hey guys, I'm the Metal Jesus. Now, back in 2012, my good buddy Drunken Master Paul and I took this beat up arcade machine here and converted it over to a MAME arcade cabinet that has thousands of games on it. See, in my game room, I only have room for one of these, so I needed to make it count. But I've always been a little unhappy with it because we didn't know what we're doing and we had no money to do it. So I've been upgrading other parts of my game room over the last couple months and this is sort of the last thing I needed to focus on. In this video, I'm going to show you all the things we upgraded on it, which is most of it. We put a new monitor in, a new controller, a new computer, and best of all, awesome new software. I think you guys are going to love it. Let's take a look. We're going to take the Metal Jesus Rocks arcade cabinet out of the ghetto wasteland and into the happy suburbs where he lives. It's going to be easy, just a couple of things we have to do. First, we're going to get rid of these ugly ass speakers he put in. Then we're going to change out the phone bezel because he got a new monitor with speakers in it. It'd be very cool. We're going to get rid of this very dangerous electrocution switch he put in for the light. And we're going to get rid of the uh, Iron Maiden death trap down here, which is the coin slot mechanics. Because if you remember, we left those in and there's lots of nasty, big, sharp, pointy bits in there arr, arr, that tear the top of your head off every single time you reach in there. It's got Metal Jesus blood all over it. The stigmata of arcade machines. Like the man said, let's get rid of these ugly PC speakers that I had Velcroed on the inside here because I don't need them anymore. My new monitor has them built in. And here's that monitor. Now it's nothing really special. It has the speakers built in and I only paid $14 for it used. But what is important is that it's mostly square, which is what I want for these old arcade games. Most of the monitors you would normally buy would be widescreen and I don't need that. Here Paul is using foam core as the bevel that will go around the monitor to kind of kind of make it look a little bit nicer. What's great about foam core is that it's super easy to cut, really lightweight, and you can make it exactly the way you want. And here Paul took out the switch that I added and rewired the marquee light so I don't burn down the game room. Beer bitch. And then I asked Paul to remove the remaining electronics that were built into the door. We originally left them because we thought it looked cool, but every single time I opened this thing and had to get underneath the arcade cab to the computer, I cut myself. Oh my God, it was brutal. And it was time to upgrade the computer. My previous was from 2004, but this is a new Dell Intel Core i7 running Windows 10. And because I upgraded the computer, my previous arcade stick did not work. I needed to upgrade it to USB. And I stuck with the X Arcade one because, well, quite frankly, I've had a ton of people beat on this thing at parties and it just keeps on ticking. These are great arcade sticks. But the biggest upgrade and most impactful one is the software. Now, previously I was using Hyperspin, which was a great piece of software. It ran on my old computer, but it had a huge drawback and that was setting it all up. It took days just to get it to look the way I wanted to. And so when it came time to upgrade to this new system, I was, I was out there looking at new stuff. And man, I gotta tell you, LaunchBox blows me away. That's what you're looking at right here. LaunchBox is a free application that frankly is just amazing to use and super easy to set up. So what makes LaunchBox so great? Well, I think it's obvious. I mean, look at the screen here. It's just a beautiful application. And most of it, 90% of it, I didn't have to do. Like it auto jumps out and downloads the videos, the screenshots, the artwork, the manuals, the information about the games, the developers, the publishers, the genre. It just, it just does it all for you. And what's crazy about it, it's not one particular system or emulator. It works with all of them. Arcade, Super Nintendo, Genesis, even your Steam library and your old MS-DOS games. I, if you can tell I'm fired up about it, I mean, it's because it just blows me away. This is a great piece of software. And it's very flexible. So for instance, with me, I have a square monitor and I'm mostly interested in arcade games, at least on this system. So it scales to it and I can remove all of the other consoles and just focus on arcade games. 
I also appreciate how well supported this software is. It starts with an active community of people who are creating new themes and also new artwork, new fan art for games, or maybe capturing gameplay footage for videos of obscure stuff that nobody's heard of. They provide it and you can download it for your, your installation of this, pretty awesome. Also, the developers of the software publish weekly how-to YouTube videos to get you started. So what's left to do? But play some games on it. Now, it's funny because Reggie and his buddy Nick came over to my house one day, totally unrelated, and I was telling them about this new setup, and immediately they both jumped on there, loaded up Battletoads, which is one of Reggie's favorite games by far, and then they just had a blast. Put the game through its paces, put the machine through its paces. They loved it, they were impressed. All right, guys, well, that is the big upgrade to my MAME arcade cab. Thanks so much, dude. You're welcome, man. I mean, ever since we did the video on this a couple years ago, I mean, we, we got it almost done, but not not quite. It, it just needed felt, a little bit of polishing. It felt unfinished. Yeah, and it just, I, I feel complete. I feel complete in my heart now. And it, it's so good you're here because you do not want me near anything mm -hmm. like sharp tools, <laughs> el electrical. Electricity? I'll die. No, he's a, poof, <laughs> big hair and death. I no, know. no, no, no. I'm happy to take that on, UV Beer Bitch. Thank you very much. And also a big thank you to uh, Launchbox. Hey, I had a Scooby-Doo Launchbox when I was a kid. I had a Star Wars one. <laughs> Thermos smelled like old milk. But the original computer, as I mentioned in this, was a crusty old Windows XP Service Pack oh, 1 machine. My God, where'd you steal that disc from? <laughs> I know. But thankfully, they created all the software, provided a ton of support for this, and just really upgraded, as you guys can see. So I'm so excited. Yeah, I really like the new interface, too. It's nice and clean. I really like it. It really is. All right. Well, dude, uh, let's play some games. I'm thinking Raiden. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Take care. Raiden! <laughs> If you have a specific question about my MAME arcade cabinet, the hardware, the setup, the configuration, go ahead and post a comment down below and I'll try to answer that. Also, if you've never seen the original video that Paul and I did back in 2012, you should definitely watch that. I'll link it right here. That's when we got the cabinet off of Craigslist, stripped it down, pulled the guts out, and uh, basically it was just us drinking beer one day, having a ton of fun. I, I consider that video to be a classic of mine, actually. It was pretty cool to make. And then finally, you're gonna wanna be subscribed to my YouTube channel because I release two new videos every single week. Thanks for watching.